Hello, everybody. It's me, Joey King, and I am I am live, and I am here talking talking about the kissing booth. Uh, first of all, I just want to say hi. Let me introduce myself. I'm Joey King. I play L. Evans in the Kissing Booth films. Uh, I am also an executive producer on the second Kissing Booth movie, which is like super surreal to say. So I'm very very excited about that. Um, so. What's up? I mean, this is the craziest time ever. I'm sure like most of you, we've all been staying at home and for the past several weeks, I've been very, very into puzzling. And um, I know I'm probably not alone in that. So I, my, my friends over at Netflix sent me over a very, very special puzzle and I thought I would test my skills on live with you guys today. Um, which is stressful because I'm not that great at doing puzzles. But um, apparently there's gonna be some Super exciting secret information in this puzzle, like uh, maybe a <coughs> release date. Excuse me, I have something in my throat, like a release date. I'm just choking on the release date. Um, so I'm very excited to do this with you. While we're going live, um, we're gonna have tons of surprises and special guests to help me solve this puzzle. So please stay tuned for that. Also, please comment in the comment section anything you want to know. A bunch of questions. Just comment some questions. I'm gonna do my best to answer as many as I can. So you want to know something? You just ask away, okay? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tackle this. I'm gonna start start tackling this puzzle. Uh, this and I also have this camera right here, which is really cool, so that you can see me um, fail at putting this together. I don't know, you guys. I was fine all day, and then I just got really nervous, and my hands are shaking. So here we go. Whatever. Uh, this part looks simple enough, but um, but it's probably not. So let's just figure it out. Uh, that's a B. That's a B, which um, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it probably is the B in the word boot, but I don't want to get ahead of myself, so I'm not really sure. Um, I know that there's two kisses in the word booth so that look at that look at me i'm go look at me I'm, look at us we're killing it okay um so as i was saying we have tons of special guests coming today and we also have i'm sure you've noticed these two pink lock boxes right next to my puzzle and uh i i think they're of some importance i don't really know what they mean um, but I think my special guests who are coming later are going to help me figure that out because, you know, I'm kind of in the dark here. I don't really know what's going on. I just want to, I'm just here to chat with you guys. I just want to hang out. You know, it's quarantine. I'm bored. I want to puzzle. I want to puzzle. I want to puzzle with you. So here I am, everyone. Um, also, I just want to say, uh, not to toot my own horn here, but I'm, I'm killing it right now like this is really going a lot better than i had imagined it was gonna go um but again i think that i just cursed myself because now i can't find oh look at that Oof. okay and if you're just joining me now if you're just hopping on that live hi guys i'm joey king what's up uh doing a puzzle that reveals potentially a release date for the kissing booth too so it's nothing exciting at all going on here um, oh, okay, I was doing well, but now I'm not. As you can see, I started before um, you guys got here because uh, I didn't want to like completely start from scratch. I did my edges, that's my puzzle strategy. I always do my edges first because, you know, it'd be a shame. It's, you gotta start, you gotta start backwards a little bit. You gotta start from the outside in, in puzzle making. Because if you don't, and then you're just, then you're crazy. That's what it is. You're just actually nuts. Um, I think I'm doing okay. I can, I'm seeming to get, I'm getting this all right. The word kissing is not happening so smoothly for me. It looks like a K. No, it looks like an N. That's an N. The, the, the kissing. I love puzzling. I first started loving puzzling when I was, just a young gal. My grandma used to live with me and my family in um, my childhood home. And her and I would, while my sisters were at school, while my parents were busy, um, her and I would sit and we would puzzle for hours. And it was so much fun. So puzzling has always been, where it is this piece going? 
Where is that? Okay. Okay. I have a. I also have a little cheat, a little cheat sheet right here. Not a cheat sheet, but I have the the final photo of what it's going to look like. So if I need to reference that, that's why I keep looking down. Um, I think I'm getting pretty close to being done here. Which honestly, like, I'm so impressed with myself because I don't, I don't do well with um, with puzzles very often. Um, so we, I feel like I'm not quite sure where these two go, but what I do know for sure is that up here, I have all these pieces here, but it feels like I'm missing some pieces, but like up here is where the release date is supposed to go. So I'm excited. Where does this go? What is going on? Oh, right there. Okay, everybody. Okay, so first of all, What's up? I did that. Thank you very much. And it, I, I don't know, I always get so excited when I see like the title, The Kissing Booth 2. It makes it seem so real to me, which is very exciting. Um, because, you know, we just spent a decent amount of time making such a fun movie for you guys. And it's so close to uh, to Hizzy happening. And I can't wait to give you that Rome's date. Look at that! So um, I think my grandma's actually tuning in now. She's, I think she's probably watching. Um, so grandma, if you're watching, I hope I'm making you proud with my puzzle skills. Uh, right now, I'm gonna try to figure out how to start putting together my BFF in the whole world, Joel Courtney, because his face is so nice and it deserves to be in a puzzle in all its glory. Ooh. Um, also, you guys, putting this together, because um, I'm looking at the poster thing, it kind of reminds me how much I love Elle's wardrobe in the Kissing Booth films. She, before I played Elle, I always was like, I never really thought that like I could pull certain things off. And then when I played Elle, I got like, this boost of confidence um, through like my clothing, and I like feel so grateful to these movies because I feel like I found a lot of myself in them. And so tying into that, I have on right now, one of the only things I actually took from the Kissing Booth 2 filming, I stole these shorts because they're so gosh darn cute and comfy. Like there's a little bit of room just for some snacking and also they're just like cute and like the fit's cute, the wash is cute. So fun fact, these are my favorite shorts and they're my, they're my Kissing Booth shorts. Uh, also, let's just take a look here, we've got Got a handsome mug forming right there. Look at that. A little, little Joel Courtney action going on. This is like going pretty, pretty swimmingly, I think. Is that his arm? It is his arm. Look at that. Um, um so let's, is that? I don't know if that goes there. Let's see, um, my special guests that are going to be coming on soon, um, they are also some of my best friends, along with Joel, and um, I'm really excited for you guys to kind of meet them and get to know them better, because they're some of my favorite people, and I want you guys to know my favorite people. This feels too light to be, that goes there. Look at that, you guys, we have... We have almost, I have this piece right here, and I know where that goes, because look at that, it's just the top of his, cause his little head. We have almost a full-blown Joel Courtney. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. that was, he, he looks so good. He looks so great. And he goes there. Wow. And we have a Joel Courtney, and we have a title, and we have half of a Ferris wheel, quarter of a Ferris wheel that I put together before you called. It's going, things are going, things are going very well. Um, my quarantine, by the way, just gonna jump in there. My quarantine's been very interesting. I've been spending a lot of time with my sisters and that's been super nice. Um, but I think I go, I speak for all of us, like this puzzle has brought me so much joy and excitement, but if I have to see another puzzle ever again when this is over, I might scream. 
So um, I'm sure I'm not alone in that because puzzling is great and all, but you know, it's also it's also just there's only so much puzzling you can do in that. Before. I think I want to take up, I wanted to do something like, you know, I, I hear a lot of people being like, you can't be hard on yourself. Quarantine's tough. Like, you don't want to, like, some people are super productive. Some people aren't. For me, I haven't been very productive, but part of me is like, mm, I really want to learn Japanese. You know, I really want to learn how to, how to speak a new language that I don't know. But I have a feeling that my poor little Duolingo app that's sitting there unopened um, is not going to get touched. I just have a feeling. So again, these lock boxes, I'm not really sure what's going on here, but I think I will find out soon enough. I've tried to open them by force and with a hammer and it doesn't work. So we'll see. But uh, I'm hoping something special is in there that maybe give you guys a clue to when the release date is. I don't know. So um, it does kind of feel like though, I am missing some pieces. Like I kind of have, felt that since I opened the puzzle, it just feels a little like sparse in the piece department. So I think it's kind of a perfect time to call on some of my, some of my friends. Now I've got part of what looks like a motorcycle done. Um, can we, can we do that? Netflix elves who are listening to me? Can we call in my, oh my God, my friends. Hey. Yay. Hi. Hi, my Guys, this is, Taylor Zakar Perez and Maisie Richardson Sellers. These are two of my favorite people in the whole world. I love them so much. You guys, I'm so happy to see you. I know, I miss you. I've been watching you cook up a storm going for your Michelin star. Oh, you know. So Taylor and Maisie are the newest addition to our Kissing Booth family and they are the best. They mesh so well. Um, I know them so well and I know their characters so well because we spent so much time together, but I want you guys to get to know them as well as I do. So will you guys like tell me a little bit about your characters for everyone that's watching? Sure. So I'm Maisie Richardson Sellers and I play Chloe. And Chloe is this worldly, she's traveled all around the globe. She's whip smart, she's sassy, she's charismatic. And she becomes best friends with Noah at Harvard. And they start spending a lot of time together, both at university and off. And Dang, I play a really good description. Oh. Okay. Little dot right. dot dot after that. Yeah, Taylor, wait your turn. Hang on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's up, everyone? I'm Taylor Zakar Perez, and I play Marco, uh, Al and Lee's charismatic and musical new classmate. Um, Al and Marco develop a kind of a close relationship while Noah's away at college. Trouble. And that's the T. So, um, so you guys, I have a question. Um, what the heck is going on with this pink lock box? You really want to know? I mean, you couldn't tell me. Okay, Joey, tell me. Okay, well, hang on. Before you tell me, before you tell me, before you tell me what's going on with my lock box, um, I think we need to tell everybody like something like about our time filming together and why we yeah, actually okay. like each other so much. Okay, good call. Should we do Cape Town? Okay, I want to start with, I want to start with Hollywood when I first met Cape Town. Okay, all right. I was just all thinking right. about this the other day because I was like, when like, when did I first meet Taylor? I thought it was like during rehearsals and stuff, but then um, I remembered it was at your audition. And good I one. just, what? I mean, I think I auditioned like seven or eight times. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was there once. I was there once. And I just remember being like, yeah, this guy's like super sweet. Like, I hope he vibes. Like, he's super cool and he's a great actor. And then like now, like you're one of my best friends. And so that's Aww. Cool. I, know. I love you. Do you still play the <laughs> Can I still? Oh. practicing? What? That was one of the skills you had to learn, no. playing the guitar from scratch. <laughs> when we get together, we'll have a jam set. Uh, Joey can sing, and then we can piano and, and guitar. That's so nice. For sure. Joey, I remember so when we both had simultaneous um, food poisoning while filming 
a particular oh. emotional scene and we're sort of My. cuddling each other in between takes trying to just uh, keep it together that was absolutely <laughs> insane <laughs> listen i already like you and i were already very close at that point and we had bonded like a lot but then, that's like that the next like a new level of bonding when you share food poisoning with somebody definitely <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god. Okay, so you want this lock box. I want to know what's in these boxes. I want to know what the release date for our movie is. So can you guys okay. help me out a little bit? Well, I think yeah. in order to open the box, we might have to ask you some trivia tri 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 questions to figure out just how much you know the film. Just how much I know the kissing booth? Bring it yeah. on, baby. Okay. T? Are okay, you ready for this? I mean, this is curated. Curated to stump you. Okay, Maybe and I have sure. a long about this, all right? Okay. Well, like, we'll start easy, okay? We'll start easy. Um, who wrote the Kissing Booth book? Beth Regals, easy. Is that all you had? Like, bring, me the, bring me the heat. I'm ready for flames. Warm it, it up. How old was she when she wrote it? She was 15 when she wrote it. Ooh, okay, you're good at this. Mm. All right, let's right, roll, uh, go on, T. Take it up a level. All right, more difficult. Um, what is the birthday that Ellen Lee shared? Oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. Um, it's June 7th. Yay! Oh, Very good. Oh, good. Okay. I actually for a second I was like, do I really not remember what their birthday is? No. You need a ball, Maisie. Birthday. Come on. I'm so trying to think of a birthday. harder one. Um, okay, at the carnival, how much did you charge for the tickets for the kissing booth? Twenty-five cents. Ooh. Uh. -uh. Ooh. Wait! 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 Really? Yeah. Well, do, do you know? Yeah, it's five bucks. See? There you go. You've Whoa, we tried I've watched five it. How many times before you audition? That's a lot of money. That's a steep kiss. It is. <laughs> and it's so an not COVID friendly. We would not be able to do that anymore. Okay, give, me, give me one more question. Because I feel like I've done pretty well. And I feel like I deserve the box code. So just give me another question. Okay, do a hard one. Let's do a second. Okay. Um, Expert, expert level, expert level, Al Evans trivia. Oh, okay. What do the letters of the OMG girl stand for? Okay, I have a little bit of a funny story about this. I know <laughs> that it stands for Olivia, Mia, and Gwyneth, but I am not going to lie, I'm, I feel so stupid. When we first shot the first movie, I was like, the OMG girls, what a funny name, ha ha. It's like, you know, it's like a play on like classic rom-com, like mean girls. Um, and, then, and then when the movie came out and I saw the movie for the first time and it was like, these are the OMGs, Olivia, Mia, and Gwyneth. I did the narration for that. It was the first time I put together that their initials made OMG. I had no, no. idea. I, <laughs> I swear to God, I was like, wait, oh my God, that's so, so genius, the OMGs. Yeah, so that's me, everybody. Um, okay, so I got a decent amount of them right. I win, right? Like, give me that, give me this lockbox situation. What's going on? One last step. Okay, How, you have 10 seconds to figure this out. Oh, okay. March, May, September. March, May, September. <laughs> Is that my clue? What, what are you guys like? Yes escape room scientists um exactly what, Mark, that's exactly what it is. April, May, okay i got it i think i got it i think i got it yeah. i'm gonna see i'm gonna see if i'm right before i tell everybody what i think you guys just did <gasps> oh yes Yay. okay you know, the code was Three five nine was third, fifth, and ninth month of the year. You guys are so clever. You guys also thank you for that. I just opened a box to um to my face in puzzle pieces. Aww, <laughs> my favorite face. So, um, this right. was like, you guys. This is like, look at this. I don't know if you can I see know, what I'm, I'm doing. I know. I'm with you. Well, good luck with the rest of it. 
Thank you. And thank you guys so much for being here. I love you both. I'm going to FaceTime you once this live is over and we can just like chill out together. I love you both so much. Love that you. sounds so good. good love, luck. love you. I miss you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Um, okay. So that was, that was wonderful. That was so great. I love those two so much. Um, it's true. They've become two of my absolute best friends in the world, which is I'm so grateful for. Um, and now I have my face to put together. How cool is that? With like other pieces kind of like, I feel like I can see how this fits. So thank you to my little Netflix elves for um, not making this horribly difficult for me. Is that my hand? Yes, that's the ball of my hand. Look at that. Oh, this is so exciting. I remember though, it's true when Taylor first auditioned, I was, um, first of all, I was struck by how handsome he was. Um, but also he just was like, so perfect for this character that I can't wait for you guys to meet. And Maisie is just like the most wonderful, charming, exciting to be around person I've ever met. And um, like her and I would hang out all the time at Offset and it was just like, it was the best. But it is true, we did get food poisoning at the same time. And it is also true that her and I would just like cuddle with each other in between takes during that time. Cause like, you no, know what? there's nothing worse than having food poisoning and like having nobody quite understand like what you're going through. So I'm very thankful for Maisie. Oh, I see what's happening here, right? Does that go there? Joel's in my way. Oh, no, he's not, he fits. Joel fits with me. Look at that, oh my God. Oh my God, this is getting so cool. This is looking so good. <gasps> ah, I feel like, I feel like there's just like one like person missing. I don't know. We gotta wait a minute. Oh yeah, I believe that. So sorry. Okay, okay, you guys. So this this is looking really good. I feel like I feel like here we need like Joel's body or a motorcycle or something. I have a feeling now that I'm looking at this. This is where um, another wonderful cast member is going to go. And I just have like a feeling this is where the release date's going to go. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, I'm going to work on putting some more of this together. Um, and it won't take me too long because I don't want to take too long. But while I'm doing that, I want to show you guys my favorite lo-fi um, beats playlist um, so that we can listen to that while I'm puzzling. And then, um, then we have more fun surprises, more special guests, and fan questions coming up. So like, you better stick around. It's been so fun so far, so it's just gonna get more fun. Um, so yeah, throwing it to my, my favorite lo-fi playlist.
Hi, you guys. Okay, so um, I feel like I've gotten like a pretty decent amount done while we were just grooving together. But um, I have another surprise for you, um, obviously, because like I'm the best. Um, so <laughs> I want to introduce somebody very special. Um, we have some awesome deleted scenes from the first movie to show you. They're so cute and they're so fun. I'm sad that they didn't make the final cut, but I'm also very happy that you guys get to see them now. It's better late than never, right? So uh, let me throw this to um, Jacob Alordi, everybody. Hi guys, I'm Jacob Alordi. Um, I hope everybody is staying healthy and happy inside. This is a clip from the first film that didn't quite make it through the edit. I hope that it can, uh, can bring a smile to your face. Thank you for, uh, for watching, always. Uh, thanks for saving us back there. Oh, well, I didn't want to ruin your dad's image of Little Miss Perfect. Uh, nice arms, man. Been working out. What do you want, Al? Oh, it's funny that you should ask, uh, cause girls seem to think that you're hot. Mm -hmm. That's because I am hot. Oh, right, I'm not saying otherwise. Uh, no, I'm just saying that it would be so helpful if you would do the kissing booth for the dance club. Nah. That's it? Nah? Nah. What the hell, no? You you owe me. You've been telling guys not to date me. I am doing it for your own good, okay? Look, bub, you are going to do this kissing booth, and you're going to stop messing with my personal life. Hey everyone, my name is Vince Marcello and I'm the writer and director of the Kissing Booth movies. And I am very excited to be able to be here today to share with all of you some more of the deleted scenes from the first film. Now, the clip you're about to see actually would have taken place right after the Hollywood sign scene. And it's the first time we hear Elle lie to Lee about the fact that she and Noah are together. It's a student council meeting and they're trying to decide on the theme for the upcoming prom. The Kissing Booth was set in Los Angeles, but it was actually shot in South Africa. And the room and building that this particular scene was shot in is a very famous one. It's the City Hall of Cape Town, South Africa, the city where the majority of the Kissing Booth was shot. Check it out. So that's five votes for the prom theme to be Memory Lane, and five votes for the theme to be Zombie Prom Night. As the deciding vote falls to me, I vote for the Memory Lane theme. <laughs> Can we pick you up out front after school? Uh, you know, I don't need a ride today. I'm gonna stay late, and then I think my dad's gonna come get me. Oh. Okay. Hey, I have another deleted scene for you. This one takes place right after Elle comes home from the prom, and she discovers that her dad has waited up for her to wish her happy birthday, which, by the way, is coming up very, very soon on June 7th. Hey. <gasps> Dad, you scared me. Ah, oh, sorry, I must have fallen asleep. So, how was the prom? Um, it was, it was great. But it is after midnight, you know. Oh, come on, Dad, I mean, it's prom night, you know who's gonna be late. No, I don't mean that. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, Elle. Thank you, Dad.
Hey guys! My name is Megan Young and I play Lee's girlfriend, Rachel. We've got one more deleted scene to share with you from the first Kissing Booth movie. This one takes place right after Elle has run out of the dance and Noah has told her that he loves her in front of everyone. You actually see the beginning and the end of the scene in the movie, but I'm really excited for you to see the whole thing. shouldn't have come. We can go if you want. No, no. You and Lee stay. I'm just gonna go wait a little. Okay? I got your back no matter what. Just text me if you need anything. You're a really good friend. But go. Be a good girlfriend to Lee. He deserves it. Hi everyone. I really hope you enjoyed those deleted scenes. I love watching them back. They're so special. And I especially love that scene with Megan. She's the best. And um, yeah, those scenes are so sweet. I also love the scene where my dad wishes me happy birthday. I kind of like cry every time I see that scene, even though it didn't make it in. But so sweet, so cute. And thank you for watching those. Um, I hope you like them. A little, little fun, like, oh, didn't make it in the first one, but here you go now. So why not? Uh, I'm still working away on this puzzle, and it's going it's going great. Um, but somebody asked me um, earlier, um, they asked me, like, what do I think sets L apart from your average, not average, but from the kind of heroine that you see most in most films or in most, you know, romantic films? Um, and something that came to mind was I just think that one thing that, I fell in love with when I read the script and I fell in love with playing Elle is how she's just, she just kind of marches to the beat of her own drum. She's very much her own person. Um, she loves the people in her life, but doesn't care too much about what other people think. Um, as you saw in the first one, she was like, you're my best friend, but you can't tell me who to love. Mm -mm. So <laughs> I've always loved that about her. She is, she's a firecracker. She's so, um, you know, I think she's a little bit of a trendsetter, but doesn't realize it. She's not one of the popular girls, but she's also not, she doesn't consider herself an outcast at all. She's just kind of your every girl. And I think that she's, she's really special. And so I've just always, always loved being able to play her and getting to come back and play her again was, was really, really special for me. Um, I feel like I'm getting close to, to a Jacob being being formed. I think that this is like, this piece looks like the other side of his hair. So there's that. That's in the clothes. Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's talk about, let's talk about Molly Ringwald for a second. Let's talk about Lee and Noah's mom. Um, she's like the sweetest person ever. I want to talk about her because I feel like this poster is I mean, it just like, it brings me all the feels. And I feel like Molly is so iconic and she brings me the feels always. And um, just having somebody who is such an icon part of our movie is so, like, it's such an honor. She's amazing. Um, she's just, I think one of my favorite things about her is how special she makes everybody feel. I remember I had my birthday on set while we were filming the second movie. And she was so sweet. She and a bunch of um, the other cast members surprised me when I got home that day with like a big cake and like a lovely dinner. And she's just, she's so thoughtful. She wants to make everybody feel like loved and included. And she's also just like, I don't know, I mean, she's Molly freaking Ringwald. She's the coolest. Um, okay, you guys, I think I have, I have a face here. Look at, I've got a face coming. These are, these are face pieces. Um, I think that looks this one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. We've got, we've got one potato, two potato, three potato, 
and four. I don't know where our fourth piece is. Um, I'm still a little, I've got like, I really, I only, I have like, I think I have like six pieces left. But like, other than that, I really have, I don't have much. So I definitely want to finish this puzzle. Let's finish this puzzle. Let's get that release date. But I, I, I don't understand where my other pieces are. And I'm thinking, yeah, these ones are pretty easy. I feel like I know exactly where these are supposed to go. But um, I do have another friend that I need to call on because obviously things are looking a little incomplete and I want to make them complete. So let's see. Okay. Where does that go? Where does it go there? Yeah. I'm like, I have no idea. I'm so, like, not good at puzzles. Thank goodness this isn't too many pieces because it is confusing. Um, okay. All right, here we go. Um, this is, this is like my last piece. This is my last piece. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Look at how much I have left. So uh, if you guys are down and okay with it, I want to open this other lock box. I mean, I think everyone should be okay with that, right? Like, I want to open it. Um, so I was going to call on one of my best friends in the whole world. So if he's around, let me just like bring him up. Joel? What's Hi. up, everybody? Hey, Joey. What's up? What's up, party people? Not much. You know, just hanging out, just chilling. You know, quarantine life. That's what's up. I miss you. How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? You know, you know. I mean, like, I'm good, but I'd be better if I were yeah. hanging out with you. Um, oh, yeah. So Honestly, I miss people. I know, I miss people, too. Obviously, everyone who's watching this knows, probably, and if you don't, well, now you know. Joel and I uh, hate each other in real life. We Entirely. We never got along. <laughs> we never will get along. <laughs> She's the worst. She's always the he worst. sucks so much. He's like, he's the worst person I've ever met in my whole life. Anyway, um, so <laughs> Joel's one of my best friends. Um, I'm so grateful that, because we actually kind of knew each other a little bit before this movie, but we became Randomly, so close yeah. uh, filming the first movie. And now I can't imagine my life without you. So that's true. I'm going to have to call you out on, I don't believe you. <laughs> you little... B word because I don't want to curse on here. I was told many times by Netflix elves I can't curse. So uh, you little B word. Oh, no cursing. Uh, okay, well that's good to know. Okay, how handsome you are. But um, do you know? Do you Thank do you, you notice something? Do you notice something? Yeah, it looks like we've got something a little bit missing there, don't we? Can you help me? Can you help me open this? It's like a, I want to open it. I, I think I might. But you know what's actually really fun is um, so this entire time that you've been going, I've been writing down and saving people's comments, so, questions for really? you. Oh, okay, yeah, great. So can, oh, yeah. can I shoot you some of these? We're gonna get to the fan questions, but that's you. Okay, good. Okay, cool. Yeah. So um, Autumn Lewis, shout out Autumn. Um, she wants to know what your favorite part of shooting KB two was. Um. Oh man, get ready to. Get your tissues. I'm going sappy. Um, my favorite part. My favorite part. My favorite part of filming KB2. <laughs> my favorite part of filming KB2 was getting to um, was getting to work with you again. Honestly, I love you so much. Stop. So being able to be your best friend again was so special. And also, like, I really do mean this. Like, meeting Taylor and Maisie was such a like joy to my life, and they bring so much love into my life and I think all of our lives so just like meeting new friends and getting to reconnect with old ones and I don't know like it just feels so good to play these characters they make me happy you know yeah right it's kind of the best and we we honestly just like we all got along and it was, it was just the best time yeah. it was the best time yeah um all right so I've got another one from uh Katie Chong what inspired you to be an actress also I love you Oh, thank you, Katie. Or was that usual? Um, that was Katie, because I, I don't. Katie. Um, I have I've been acting since I was four years old. So I've been acting for a very long time. But me and my sisters used to do, like, improv classes together and, like, little plays together with 
just, you know, like an audience of 50. And so my love for acting really sparked there. And I just, I've always loved um, lying. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I've always loved lying and being other people. <laughs> no, stop it. No, but it was, I, I, I just I've always loved being other people and like, I don't know, embodying other people's lives and putting myself in other people's shoes. What inspired you to be an actress, Joel? An actress? Uh, yeah, so the day I knew that I wanted to be an actress, um, I actually didn't. I, I, I kind of stumbled into it. My my brother, Caleb, was acting before me, and I kind of wanted to do like what my cool older brother was doing, and I wanted to try it out. Um, and then I booked Super 8, which was my first job of all time. So that was and crazy. No. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank no. you. Um, Okay, cool. Um, so Alex underscore twenty eighty nine, he said, um, "Are we gonna cry in the new movie?" Yes. And if you don't, then you we have definitely no are. And, and this is true. <laughs> yeah, this uh, yeah. is true. I, I, I definitely think you're gonna cry. I mean, these faces have only intentions of making you feel things. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I potato cried. one, two and three, potato one, two and three. I'm glad you caught that. I have no idea why that went through my mind, but it did. And I said potato and I stuck with it. So I had, I had to call you out on it. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Joel and I were having a Rubik's cube competition before we hopped on live on FaceTime. We were just trying to see who could solve our cube faster. So, uh, I love you, Joel. Uh, thank you for those fan questions. Thank you for submitting those, everybody. That was, like, awesome. Um, now, Taylor and Maisie made me play trivia to open my lockbox, the other lockbox. Are you going to make me do the same thing? Um, actually, yeah, that sounds kind of fun. Okay. So, okay. Um, are you ready? Like, are you, are you, are you like, actually ready? I'm ready. You you're, ready? Yeah. you're actually ready? All right. Um, yes. How about this? Um, what kind of car does Lee drive? Mustang. Ooh, she right. knows it. All right. That was a warm up. That was a warm up though. All right. Okay, and then, uh, um, we'll how... Oh, really? Okay. Well then let's get on it. Um, how it's many actors, good. how many actors played L in the first movie? Four, right? Yeah, yeah, it was oh, four. Because yes, okay, of the montage bit, there's a bunch of little L's. Yeah, and then us in the hospital. And like then, when we're first like. The... High five, buddy. Look at that, I got awesome. it. Awesome. <laughs> okay, now, now give me that damn code, boy. All right, yeah, so got the answers right, and now you get the code. What is it? What is it? Um, what is it? Which should be coming in super hot right now. Is it coming in hot or is it coming in a little, little lukewarm? Alrighty, ready for this? Yes. Zero, six, seven. I'm dying to see what's inside. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is it the date? Oh my God. Is it the, the date? date? Oh my god, it's the date! Okay. Oh my god, it's the date! Are you excited? I'm like, I'm like freaking out a little bit. All right. Well, first, before I take out the date, let me take out this cute ass headline, or what is it called? Little tagline for the movie. It says, Rules can be broken, but so can hearts. So can hearts. So I think I can see where it goes because that little kissy mark right there. So I'm gonna slide that in where it belongs and then uh, oh yes my netflix elf passed me um this because i knew i was missing that so that goes right there um okay are you ready for this i think oh, i am God. okay let me just put that there I know my heart is racing there. my heart is my racing heart. right now okay oh my god i'm so excited i'm my heart's beating so fast because, like, I know can you just, just do like, it so like i'm actually wonderful. freaking out the release date for the Kissing Booth 2, everybody, is... Oh, and I just snapped part of it off. <laughs> is July 24th, 2020. July 24th. 
Yes! Oh my goodness. Yes! Oh my okay. Lord, that's six days before my birthday. What a beautiful birthday present. That's that awesome. Right Good timing. I know. I'm so excited. And I'm missing two pieces somehow. I have no idea. It's a puzzle. There's always pieces missing. Always Is it missing even a puzzle like, if there's no pieces missing? You know, it's just, oh, here they are. Okay, I got them. Um, oh, my God. Oh, you got them. Okay. I am so how, excited. Oh, how exciting is that? That is amazing. Look at that. It's done. I'm kind of emotional right now. I don't really know why, but I'm very, very excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is the best. I'm so excited too. Joel, um, Joel, thank you so much for, um, for, for doing that with me. You're the best. And I could My not pleasure. literally solve this puzzle without you. So you're, you're a gem. This is true, and don't forget it, because I'm gonna hold this over your head for a while. Wonderful, that's great. That's so, that's just great. You know, you're just a great guy. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Joel. Uh, I'm gonna call you later, but I'm gonna hang up on you now. You gotta sign off. Um, I love you so much. Alrighty. Happy, Peace. Happy July. 24th. Bye. You guys, look at this thing. Look at that. This is so, I mean, I'm just so excited. Look at, look at all of us. It's our faces and we're like, this is our, this is our movie and this is our release date, July 24th. I've been so, so, I mean, ever since filming the movie, I've been so excited for everybody to see it. We worked so hard and we had so much fun on it. And I know that this pandemic and this craziness has got everyone a little bit down and it's been really tough on a lot of people. Um, and so I'm just really excited that, you know, to give, this release date so that we all have that to look forward to. Um, I am so looking forward to it. This has just brought me a lot of much needed joy and I hope it has brought some of you joy too. This was such a fun day. Um, I, I'm, we got to talk to Maisie and Taylor and Joel and, and Jacob and Megan and Vince popped in and that's awesome. And Beth is on the live and I love Beth. And we got a release date and we got to answer a few fan questions. Like I'm just, this is, what a great day. I am so excited. I love you guys. Um, I can't wait for July 24th. Ah! So, um, yeah, thank you for watching me talk to you and solve a puzzle at the same time. This was such a fun thing. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. And, um, okay, bye.